more than 5,000 deaths from Ebola, it's become a difficult disease to contain because of its contagious nature. We're going to have to stay vigilant, and we've got to make sure that we're working together. At the encouragement of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, scientists are meeting in Massachusetts, Texas, Washington, D.C., and at UC Berkeley to see if robots can be of assistance. So the great thing about putting a robot in there is that you could then um, basically keep people out of harm's way. UC Berkeley robotics professor Ken Goldberg says in the coming months they're looking at whether telepresence robots, like the ones created by InTouch Health, could help doctors remotely diagnose an Ebola patient. When you're trying to diagnose a patient, there's a lot of nuance. You want to be able to look from different angles, look at different parts of the, of the patient. Robots could also help with cleanup and decontamination, though there's one major obstacle to overcome. Most robots have wheels. Well, those can immediately get contaminated, and we don't know actually how to sterilize them because there's, to, the, there's too many intricate moving parts. In the long term, several years down the road, Goldberg says the focus is on whether robots can assist in treating Ebola and other patients by inserting IVs. Can we use new imaging techniques to be able to find the vein more accurately? And then a robotic device that would actually be able to position a needle more accurately. Robots may also be tapped in the future to help with biolab experiments involving contagious diseases. Though right now, robots have a tough time perceiving transparent glass vials like beakers. Goldberg says this current Ebola crisis is a wake-up call to accelerate technology. The reality is that robots are not, the capabilities are, are limited right now. There's lots of research that needs to be done. So we just want to set expectations that we're not, this is not going to save the day. But he says they hope to be ready for the next health crisis. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.